Hello, this is uh, Russell Hausen, and this is the Piano Outlet here in Coral Springs, Florida. Today I'm making a video of a C5. The C5 is a Yamaha six foot seven inch grand, and this piano is going to a very lucky little boy, very talented little boy. His name is James William Simic in Lincoln, Nebraska. And I know he's been just dying to get his hands on this piano, and I promise I'm, I make a video uh, before we send it because it's going out on our next truck. Our next long distance truck is going to be taking it out there to Lincoln, Nebraska. And uh, it couldn't go to a better little guy, little pianist. I'm real excited for him. And his dad, his dad has been like texting me like almost every day. How's the piano coming along? How's the piano coming along? Uh, if you don't already know it, but we just don't clean up our pianos and send them out. Uh, we do a whole um, restringing job. As a matter of fact, the, the one next to it, this is the way this piano looked just a couple of weeks ago. See, we take out the uh, uh, iron plate and uh, we start, we clean everything, we put new graphite on the bridges and we polish everything so that it's brand new looking again. And then we clean the iron harp that goes inside and then it gets all brand new strings. So this piano here was looked like that about three weeks ago. Anyway, I'm going to play it a little bit, and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. It's uh, still uh, having a little issues holding a tune because it's, um, it's uh, newly restrung. The strings are still stretching, but uh, let's see how it goes. put new strings in a piano, it just gives it a new life. It just has so much, so volume. Uh, you've got so much uh, that you could do with dynamics on it. I mean, but what I love about it is the amount of volume and power it's got and sustain. I know a lot of people saying, why do you play so loud? Well, I just like a piano that has a lot of power. And the only way to really get that across uh, especially if you're watching a video and listening to it on your cell phone, you just got to really play it, get that sound out of the piano. Anyway, so let's look this piano over and I'll show you all the things that, uh, that we do to these pianos before they go out. Incidentally, let's just talk about also, I forgot, what I will always want to mention is really how you treat the piano when it comes into your house, okay? Because what's going to happen is that the piano mover is going to set up the piano and it's going to be just like this and the lid's going to be open. And, you know, a lot of people that get a piano like this, it's their first one. And they don't really know how to, you know, how to 
move the parts, take the parts off and all of that. And there is a certain way to do, uh, take like for instance the music desk out. Uh, so incidentally this is the music desk. This part here that goes up and down, this is called a fallboard, probably because it falls down, okay? Uh, this is your lid, okay? This is called the prop stick, okay? And so um, many times if you want to take the music desk out, the music desk, it's important that you close this because if you don't, when you pull this out, it's going to scratch the top here, okay? So you take that, put that down, put one hand on either side. Oh, first you're going to, there's a prop over here for this piece. So you're gonna pull it up, fold it down, put this down. Then you're gonna take this, pull it out. There we go. Okay, put this over here. Okay, so now you can really get a nice look at the inside of the piano. Um, one of the things that you'll notice right away, this piano gets all new, brand new tuning pins, pin bushings, uh, stringing felts, and just to show you, if the camera will come over here, you see all the tuning pins. Uh, the main thing about the tuning pins when you get them, they're, they're a size bigger than the old ones, so they're gonna hold nice and tight. All the coils are nice and high off the plate, which means that this piano is gonna last you another 25 or 30 years before you ever have to worry about a loose tuning pin. And that's because every single piano a piano outlet here, we send out with all brand new strings. These are the dampers here, and if you see the condition of them, they're basically like new. We did not replace them because they didn't need it. Same thing with the hammers, because we only start off with pianos that have had very, very little wear and tear uh, that, you know, people uh, in Japan would buy this piano and maybe uh, use it for a few years and then lose interest. So the next thing that I want to show you how to do is to how you move the top over here. This is the lid, okay? So it's very important that you know that the, lid, the prop stick is always at a 90 degree angle to the lid. Uh, you do not put it like this because that's incorrect. This is a 90 degree angle and so would this be. Oh, we got a little squeak there. This is a 90 degree angle, okay? If you want to put it all the way down, uh, you lift it up here. Incidentally, always stand over here when you're opening and closing the lid. You don't stand over here because it's gonna be way too heavy. This is par part here that folds back and forth. This is called the top board, okay? It's very important that when you open and close the lid, the top board is folded back. Many, many, many times I see pictures of pianos being advertised and they're like this. This is very, very, very bad because it puts a lot of weight on this hinge and the hinge will get ripped out. So you always want to remember that you want to fold it back this way and then move it up this way. There you go, okay. So that's basically it. I want to uh, congratulate uh, uh, the Simic family there in Lincoln, Nebraska uh, and thank them for, for their business and I'm sure you're gonna have this piano for many, many years to come and thank you so much.